The Man in the Shadows by Flesh Nine, Pig Nine. Before I start this story, I just want to say, if I didn't enlist in the army two years before this, I don't know what would have happened to me, and I don't think I would even be alive. The year was 2014. I was 23 and worked at the local Pizza Hut in my small town. I did the usual. I swept the floors and checked the money, just in case afterwards I locked it in the safe and said goodbye to the guard. My home wasn't that far, about 10 to 15 minutes away from the Pizza Hut, so I preferred walking and clearing my mind rather than driving. I was heading back home and I noticed someone behind me about 300 yards. He was about 6'7 and a bulky build. I wouldn't say he was a bodybuilder, but he looked like he could take a punch. Every time I looked behind and stared at him, he would just stop in his tracks and just kind of scan me. I, I thought he was another homeless man or a hobo. I stopped along the way and entered a 7-Eleven to buy a soda and some other things. I paid the cashier and wished him a good night. As I exited out the door, I noticed that the man from before was standing there and watching yet again. I yelled, do you need something? No response. He looked like a doll just standing there analyzing me. I said again, hey, you need... Before I could finish my sentence, he ran up to me and just kept staring. I looked at him and remembered some of the features. Black and white rag on his head, long black hair, and dark brown eyes. His lips were thin and white. His jacket looked dirty and greasy, like a mechanic's, and on it the name read, John. I tried having a friendly conversation with him. Uh, hi, John. Do you need anything? He was stone cold, and his eyes looked bleak and dead, as if he wasn't human. In response to me, he just sort of silently grunted before saying, Can you give me a drive home? His voice was cold and had no apparent accent, but it was spoken with an unintelligent-like vocabulary. But before I could say anything, he pulled out his pocket knife and slowly pushed it at my chest. My mind rushed and possibilities ran before me. I remembered my old lieutenant saying, In a fight, always stay calm and cool and show no fear and you just might make it out alive. I took a deep breath and started a conversation with him to give me time to analyze my area and find a suitable weapon. Uh, what do you mean? I don't have a car, but I can give you some money for a taxi or something. He looked as if he lowered his guard, but he kept inspecting me and staring at me with his dead, cold, bleak eyes. As I continued my conversation, he kept slowly lowering his knife to the point that it only reached my legs. My time was now. I punched him in the throat and pushed him off me before grabbing a beer bottle from the floor and smashing him over the head. He let out a blood-curdling scream as blood started to rush down his face. I kicked his knife out of his reach before hitting him once again and bolting away. As I ran, I heard him screaming, I'm gonna gut you, kid. I'm gonna skin you alive. I kept running until I found a car approaching the road. I stopped the man inside and explained everything to him. He called the cops and they searched the scene. The man was nowhere to be found. I'm telling you this story as a warning. If you have seen this man, report him to the local police and stay away from him. 